Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 9 of my Alpha 17 7 Days to Die experimental let's play. As you can see we're up here on our rooftop. I've been working through the night uh, to try and get this area taken care of so we can start a farm and get our food a little bit more situated because right now we're totally dependent on meat for our sustenance and eggs um, which is no good <laughs> I mean it's good but just not seeing that many animals so it would be a lot more beneficial to get these farms going so we can have a bigger variety and not be as dependent on meat. <coughs> Excuse me. Swallowed wrong. So this is what I've been doing. I've been laying out uh, wood frames. I made more um, of the cobblestone blocks. Yeah. So as soon as it gets daylight <laughs> and the zombies uh, can't run anymore. We're gonna head out, but let's look at, uh, do we have any skill points to spend? We have one. Um, I think it might be good to open up more recipes to see what we can make. It just, it doesn't tell you what recipes that you can make. Um, so let's look. Uh, these are all like seeds, cornmeal. We don't need it for that. So let's see what's locked. Um, maybe we have to actually be in the campfire to see those recipes. Um, oh, it sort of lagged when it hit daylight. Oh, the, these things aren't opening. Did you see that? That's twice that I clicked on it and it made the sound, but it didn't open up. I also made a little bit of cornbread. Look, I didn't finish. Oh, let's go ahead and finish that up. Um, those are good for when you don't need so much to top off your food. Um, all right, so let's look and see what recipes... These are the only ones we have uh, available. If we go to two, we see blueberry pie, can of sham, chili dogs, fish tacos, fort bites, grain alcohol, uh, hobo stew, meat stew. I think it might like unlock the meat and vegetable stew, maybe the steak and potatoes, but I don't think it'll do things like sham chowder or hobo stew until like the third one. And there's no fourth. Uh, so yeah that might be beneficial so let's go ahead and get the master chef well, we can also learn this one how to make sham chowder that would be good since we can already do that I think that's where our next point is going to go because we have um, how much we have five of those and that would be uh, really nice to have So what I wanted to do was maybe go take a head out to this rally point because we've had it for a while. So let's sort of do this. We're not going to need our shovel or these. Um, I think we can even get by with not taking these guys. So we could possibly even put our food and drink on the hot bar. So it's not even, it's clogging up even less of our inventory. So that would be nice. We'll put these guys down here. Um, I don't think we'll need any plant fibers. Maybe I'll drop off some of that stone. Um, we might not even need that because a lot of our 
weapons or tools are taking iron now. So let's go ahead and leave that and just grab like, five iron if we need to repair. And maybe make a few more of those. Whoa. Oh yeah, I can't make wood frames. I put them away. Let's make like 30 of those. And then we'll put the rest of the wood away. That should be enough, yeah? Uh, oh, uh, one important thing. I want our bike. And I am gonna like pick it up because I've heard uh, some people have problems with their mini bikes disappearing. And I don't want to get stuck out there and have to run all the way back. So let's shut this one. Boink. All right, which way is it? It's north. Okay. Let's go out to the north. <laughs> I really like this bike. Um, gets you mobile a little bit sooner. Sometimes it just takes it a second to want to be placed. All right. Um, let's go ahead and put those back on the frame. All right. Let's go to the north. Oops, sorry tree. There's no road to the north, so I gotta cut cross country. I hope this is a mountain bike and not a 10 speed because 10 speeds don't do very well off road. But I wish I could figure out what to push to get it to use my keys uh, to steer instead of the mouse. Because I like kind of looking around when, when I'm riding. I like being able to, you know, look around while I'm steering and stuff. But I can't, and, it, and I'm kind of sad. So we're just gonna head to the rally point, ignoring everything. Oh, look, here's a road. Maybe, oh, okay. We are going to stop off for a little bit of meat. Oh, I missed. to get hit anymore. Oh, that'll be good. 26 meat. That's awesome. Okay, we will stop for animals if we see them. Because <laughs> that's meat. Um, hang on. Alright, this, this road is not going north. Let's, uh, let's go cross country again. Uh, hopefully this will take us to another town. Oh, here's another road. Is this going to curve over to the right? If it does, we'll stick to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it ends. What a shame. The road to nowhere leads to nowhere. <laughs> oh, a deer. Let me off. Let me off. I wonder if we can... <clears throat> <laughs> Death by bicycle. No, no, no. All right, where'd it go? Oh, dude. I think it disappeared. Oh, nerds. Our meat is gone. Hopefully I can place the bike. Might be too, too slanted. Whoa! Uh, um, there we go. <sighs> 
lost the deer, man. I went back because I didn't want Bikey to dis disappear. Okay, here's a lake. Got to go around. Man, I'm <laughs> bummed about that deer. We killed it with the bike, but then it disappeared. So that kind of stinks. Oh, we'll have to remember that and not do that again. All right. It looks like we're heading to another town. We're still quite a bit of ways. 300 meters. Oh, hell. No. That was a bear just sitting there. <laughs> I can't even check if he's on us. I would turn around and look, but I can't get the camera thing to work. I wonder if you, is there like a key to change the camera? I think it might be this, I hope it's not this floating building that we're supposed to go to because that's going to crash as soon as somebody looks at it. I'm surprised it didn't crash when that zombie hit it. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, it's a little bit further. Good. Looks like it might be this base right here. Let's go ahead and pick up Bikey. Bikey! You gotta, like, let go. Um, we don't want that on our hot bar either. Uh, so now that we're here, let's go ahead and take these off. Hello! We're back! Well, we haven't really been here before, so I can't say we're back. Um, <laughs> so the reason why the piggies were in these types of bases um, was because they uh, apparently had a bug where um, they the vultures were swapped with the pigs. Uh, the IDs were swapped. So that's why the piggies were there. And in this update, the B208, it is fixed. Where's our waypoint thing of a jobber that we got to click? There it is. But the, the good news is there's no more piggies in here, which is good. Uh, <laughs> because the piggies were pretty rough. They're like a boss mob. Um, you know, kind of like the undead bears and whatnot. Okay, so we're going to have to kill dudes in here. Let's see what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to not leave. Stay within. But we want to... Uh, be stealthy because uh, there are vultures. And those guys stink. Ah, oh, crutch shot. <laughs> Oh, he woke up. I want to kind of look. Okay, we're not stealthing very well because of the 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 torch on the hammer. So let's switch over to the bow. I can hear that burning dude. 
I'll sort of pick these chairs up so we don't stumble over them. I don't see any vultures. Is this like a gas tank I could pick up? Oh! Which would go right through the ear? <laughs> it broke on his hard head. Oh! Oh, oh! No touchies! Sorry! Oh, shit! Excuse my friend. is so uh, stamina dependent that it's not good to miss. It's not good when you miss. I hear that dude crackling. It's, it's kind of making me... Oh, there he is. I see him. But he's like walking away. Oh, look at her. I think we already killed everything except for what might be in that house. I don't see any like vultures. Let's get the car. Shh. Look at how my stealth went up when I was searching. Is that oh that's just the iron shovel. We'll take it, we can melt it down. I still hear zombies. We're gonna have to bust through this door. Oh look, there's a red dot on the compass. I hear a pig. Okay, we're done. I thought we would have to like find um I'm scared that that might be. You know what I forgot to bring? A freaking wrench. Oh, I can't believe I goofed like that. Uh, Cause that, that springs right there. Oh, look at this, we got, I really hope that that, oh, lucky goggles. What do we have on the, just the glasses? Yeah. I really want to get that pig. Oh, two wooden clubs. Are you kidding me? Oh ho 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 ho! Oh, there's our piggy. Let's try to get good. And then we're gonna go. Oh, yeah. He never stood a chance. Yeah, another 26 meat. Excellent. Now I wonder if there's anything up top. Scrap that. We're gonna scrap that. Um, is there ever anything in the campfires? I don't think there is. Um... We got friends coming. It's okay if we leave now because we're, we're complete. We can come out here and take care of this guy. Eat this bird's nest. This other guy's going to come and have a chat with us. Say hello to my little friend. The Hammer of Doom. Well, that was good that there was no... Or no stinking buzzards. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Um, we're next to a desert, so I'm not particularly worried about getting glass. Oh, oh seriously? All you have is a locker. We'll look through that in a minute. 
Um, can we get any more gas from there? I don't know. We got a cooler in here. And, oh, yeah, nine meat. It looks like there's something underneath there. Oh, yeah, secret purse stat. Twelve bucks. I believe we got that. Our friend, I think, has come back. That. I hear him. <laughs> <laughs> Death from above. The flaming hammer of doom shall take you all. Ha ha. Um, there is a backpack up there, so I definitely want to check that out. Let's do this. Oh, so those are some, uh, I bet that would be nice to get a wrench. There's nothing. Seriously, I come up all this way to get nothing. I bet those have some nice parts in it. And that looks like everything uh, from this place. Especially since I didn't bring my wrench. Um, these things, I think, only have like wood and nothing if you use the hammer uh, but these have nothing if you use the hammer okay well, that's good to know I guess um hello nice to meet you maybe next time you'll be feeling a little bit better under the weather Oh no. What? He should be worth so much more experience since he takes. He's got more hit points. Um, I think we have some iron arrows. Let's go ahead and. Make those up. Grab that bedroll. I actually think we got a couple of those and one of those, so that should make us less encumbered. We did get some some guns and some ammo. That's good. We can make that into a bandage. There we go, and put those there. Good, we're good. I think it's time to go back to our trader and get our reward. Maybe we'll put a point into that. Um, put our point. I know I was gonna do the the food. Oh, should I do the food or should I try for? Let's do the food first. Really would like to get um, more options for my food, and that sham chowder is crazy. Of course, I have to have potatoes and corn with it, so you know the bad thing about being on the bicycle is that you can't really loot anything without getting off of the bicycle, which is no good. Oh, we're out of stamina. Yeah, it's no good. You know, I wonder if it's uh, beneficial to leave those um, dungeon type things close to you open. Oh, look, here's a tree stump. I. Oh, I don't have an axe. Never mind. Let's go. I, I saw that you can get honey from those uh, occasionally if you break them. Sort of like the couch can occasionally give you cash. Which is kind of, it's kind of awesome, I think. Um, 
I think what what I want to do when I get back is I want to look at making a mining helmet. Definitely need a mining helmet. Um, there's a rabbit, but yeah, we're not. I don't like chasing them down. I like the boars and the dogs, even though it's a little bit more dangerous. Oh, speaking of. No. Bad piggy. Oh, we got some meat. That's really good. That's really good. We're going to have to go on a walkabout, though, because we don't really have enough eggs. That's why it'd be good to get, um, like, a meat stew recipe. I think we already have it, though. Uh, we'll have to check into that. Mm. These houses are, are nice to loot. They got a gun safe. Let's go ahead and loot it, since um, it's, only, it's only 8 o'clock in the morning. Let's scrap that. It's only one pipe. Let's scrap those boots. Um, a lot of the stuff should stack. Craft another one of those. Alright. Oh. Uh, let's just wake everybody up. Come on! Come on out! Oh, I backed up too fast. Hello. How's it going? Nice to meet you. I'm new to the area. Just checking out the real estate. Oh, I'm out of stamina already. Oh. Yeah, we need to do... Put more points into less stamina on melee usage. Hello. Get that afterwards so we're not as encumbered, I think. Yeah, there's a dude back here. Chick. Come on. Oh, there's a door on that. Now I see why. There's still a zomber. Oh, door. Just a little bit of ammo and arrows. And there's usually somebody in here. Oh, I gotta be on the lookout for stuff coming down the stairs. I don't see anybody in here. Well, that's nice. Alright, let's go. Not run. Yeah, we got two guys up here and look there's a dude on the roof i wonder if i can get a shot at him <laughs> right in the foot he's gonna fall through oh Twelve hundred experience. I think I should be okay. Oh, she dodged. Another one. Oh yeah, some food. Oh, He's got that, that arrow is definitely sticking out of him. Okay. I think it's okay to start. Oh, I didn't bring a... Can I get leather if I destroy this? No! Ah! Alright. Oh, and I can't make a little axe. Because I don't have stone. I need like four stone. Dang it! 
let's go bang on a rock and get a little axe so we can get that leather. And of course, there's like nothing. There's one. Oh shoot, there's a full buck. Oh, I missed. He turned right at the last second. Oh, single shot. Heck yeah. I was just going for this rock over here. Twenty-six. It looks like twenty-six is the number. Well, there's our four. We can make our stone axe. Let's grab those. Okay, so it looks like you do need the axe uh, to break things down in the houses. I wish I hadn't left it now. But you live and you learn, yeah. Now I know I need my axe. What was that sound? It was sort of like a whiny sound. Is there like another deer nearby? Oh, look at that. I haven't, this is the first time I've seen so many animals. Oh, he hit me. Oh, we have gotten so much meat this this time. I guess it's beneficial to go, you know, exploring. Uh, you don't see very many animals in in the area. And I hear another zombie. Let's just start looting. If they come, they come. Scrap the chairs. Um, we'll keep that little bit of stone in case we need to repair our crappy axe here. Um, I do know that this is definitely... Let's sort of walk this off for a minute. This is definitely faster. Because we might need to eat too. How's our food and hydration? Oh yeah, that's pretty low. Let's go ahead and eat and drink. There we go. We're wearing our lucky goggles. Hopefully our loot will be a little bit better. Get plus 50 to loot. Um, the perception really isn't doing us that, I guess, when we do take our, um, our shots, our sneaky shots at the guys, um, it is helping. Uh, then, but most of the time we're melee, and so the perception from the goggles isn't doing us all that much good. Oh, lots of ammo and some cash. Nice. Uh, we already looted that. Um, I think we can. I think it's okay to. Yeah, it's okay to smash these with the hammer. Because we still got to loot it afterwards. A toilet. Toilet pistol? Nothing. Okay. So the hammer's good for smashing stuff, but you don't get a lot of loot from it. For once, I'd like to come in here and have that cooler have some food in it. Uh, overalls. Well... Keep them intact if we can't. Uh, no, we don't need those. I don't think we've gotten any overalls yet. What? We got shorts. And shorts are good for... Okay, so we might want to keep these because they're a little bit better for cold resist. So 
Until next time we know not to leave our axe at home because you can't break down things like blinds and couches and get loot from the hammer. Which is unfortunate because I, I kind of like having less stuff on my toolbar cluttering it up if I can then that makes room for more fun stuff like guns and guns and things um where do you have pots and we can make them so I'm gonna go ahead and scrap that to make room oh yeah some more acid that's awesome oh and more meat are you kidding me look at how much meat we have got this trip that is crazy. I like it. Okay, so I think all that's left are... Um, let's bust out these windows instead of the door. <laughs> Grab the chairs, scrap them, get on biking and head back. That was nice. We got some ammo. Got lots of food because we killed the piggy and the boar and the deer and oh got the stuff and things I feel a little bit better but I'd still like to um, get the farm area going we want a mining helmet when we get home let's get bikey scrap those wow we got so many things um, let's get rid of the glass the stone. There's Mikey. Oh, it's like, where's my bike? Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to deal with that. There we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, sprinting on the bicycle is much more efficient than sprinting while you're running because you're going so much faster. I'm so glad we got to do a rally point without failing. Huh. Sayonara, sucker. Can't catch me. Yeah, it would be really nice to get some farm area going. We got lots of clay to make into the soil to fill that thing up. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. We're almost home. I think I'm going to go home and then and dump off my stuff and then go see the trader. Oh, there's the trader right there. Whoa! What the heck was that? Yeah, I think we're too full, so let's... We're, we're so close. Ah! Okay. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I can barely move. You're lucky we can still jump, I guess, being so encumbered. Oh, it's like having to go through the nine gates of hell trying to get back into the base. I kind of, I think I might try to move everything up top. It's kind of a pain to get get back down here. If we if we get set up shop up top, it'd be one less. Two less doors we have to go through. Alright, let's go ahead and scrap our stone axe. Because we know we don't need that. Look at all the meats. Yes! That was awesome. Let's put those guys up too. And those. We, get, we had a good haul. Call. Um, duct tape, acid, plastic, cloth, leather, bones, mm, paper. 
<clears throat> oh, we have medical stuff. We got a we got a couple pills. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to look at those. Oh, I didn't know we gotten. Plant fibers that kind of. Oh, we have extra iron arrows that we could have stacked up. I do want to put these goggles away. I think they should go there. Oh, we got extra set of shades. Uh, maybe we'll have this iron shovel as a backup. You never know. Now we got our, our weapons, shotgun, hunting rifle, lots of ammo. Look at all that yummy ammo that we got. That was awesome. That was awesome. Uh, so now none of this stuff goes in here. Oh wait, yeah, dude, the, the gas can gas barrel. Um, our cashola goes over here since we're going to see the freighter. We don't have much of it. We'll put our iron up. What kind of stuff can we sell? You sell these or Shotgun Messiah, Skull Crusher. I think I might want to keep this one. Deep Cuts. Sexual T-Rex. Uh, Dead Eye. Grease Monkey. Stay Down. Flurry of Blows. We got two Grease Monkeys. Uh, we actually got a couple of dead eyes, too. Uh, this might actually be good to go when we, we go harvesting for stuff at night. I think some of these could be useful situationally. Uh, like if we're looking at a long battle, we might pop this one. Because that's stamina regen, I think, for melee. The sexual T-Rex. Yeah. Stamina usage. Although if it's only one level, that's only 5%. That's not a whole lot. Anyway don't have uh did we put up the overalls let's put that up there maybe we'll still we do have two sets of steel gloves um so let's maybe keep the best of that we definitely want to keep this um military arm actually we have two level one best. Do those sell well? I don't know. When I break them down, I get nine military fiber. Ooh, is that per or is that for that whole stack? Okay. That's that's for the whole stack. Uh, we're going to keep this because I think we're going to try. Can we sell this? Maybe we'll sell that as well. Maybe we'll sell this extra sweatshirt that we have. Um, I don't really know that I want to sell anything in here. This stuff's impotent. Okay, so we'll leave that stuff alone. And I, this this stuff is so useful, I don't want to sell it. No, I'm not going to. Oh, I left this open so you can see that's where I put my claim block. 
Oh, well, let's get our axe because um, we don't want to leave home without it this time. <laughs> Maybe we'll just uh, we'll leave that area as like a smelting area. And we'll move like our, um, our workbench and storage up, up top. So we can still like craft and stuff. Uh, we don't have to go down as often, which would be nice. Whew. So after we get our reward, um, we could do another level of better barter. But that's not going to get us um, a better reward. What is that under? Under here? A lucky looter? No. Let's get in where it's safe. I thought there was... Oh, yeah, it's, um... It's not... It is here. But it's the Daring Adventurer. Uh, let's go ahead and spin that. We'll get the cooking one. We're two-thirds of the way through our level. We can get that easy peasy. Oh, look at that. We got antibiotics or pistol or some amp. 44 ammo? I think that might be more useful than the pistol. We have a bunch of pistols and, oh gosh, uh, we could take the pistol and then sell it for 673 and then buy that ammo. Maybe we'll do that. Let's do that. Do you have any more jobs? Hopefully, oh my god, look at all of those. 2.6 kilometers is the closest one. Okay, we'll I've take it. Work. But you're an a-hole. Better not fuck this up. Yeah. Screw God you. Come here. I wish I could smack him down. He really pisses me off sometimes. Talking all his smack. Sell me some stuff. Buy my stuff. Um. I should have repaired that, I think. But I don't, I don't want to use... Um, we're pretty far from leveling, so we'll go ahead and just sell all that at once. Oh, we're going to sell this pistol, too. Oh, and it had 15 ammo in it? We'll see if we're close. I'd like to keep that ammo. Uh, what do you got? Nothing really. The goggles give two agility which might be nice I think that agility gives you stamina max stamina I'm not really seeing I'd like a, a mining helmet but I'm not really seeing that 20 animal fat but that's really expensive and we got we got actually got some this time so that was nice uh-huh. I'm just not seeing anything. Oh, he's got, uh, he's got some more steel. We should buy that steel. It's going to be a long time before we get steel. Yeah, I don't see anything else I want to buy from him. Let's just buy all of that. 968. Sale is um, sale. Yeah, because it's, it's like 50 or 60th like level before you can get steel. Did we get everything out of our forge or his forge back here? Uh, there's still a bunch of clay. Does it give you clay back? Clay soil? I don't have any wood on me. I guess we won't. It's so common. And I, I've gotten so much from digging up the dirt.
All right. Get the stuff and things. I think it was definitely worth it to trade that pistol for steel. Uh, that way, if we get a good wrench, we can actually make a wrench, I think, better than the one that we looted now, since we can do level three. But I don't know. Is it really even matter with... Um, is there a mod for a wrench? Because all it adds is durability. It would be really nice if they changed that to where it give you like, you know, your your weapons do a little more damage maybe, and uh, your tools give you more to harvest. That would be really nice. Um, So let's put Bikey up because I think we're done traveling for the day. I'm going to go ahead and bang this thing out. Boink. Oh, but I don't have any wood because I'm a ninny. See, yeah, that's why I don't like putting those things away because uh, you just need them all the time for stuff and things. Except for the plant fibers. All right, and if you have your claim block down in in the area, you can pick up your items, uh, your your workbenches uh, and forges, campfires, all your crafting thingies. Uh, you can you can pick up, which is nice. So you don't have to lose them if you decide you you misplaced it or you want to move it somewhere else. Um, I definitely want to redo this room on the bottom. Uh, I wasn't intending to to have it be closed in like that. Um, yeah, we'll move our storage up here. Uh, if we have uh, nails... Maybe we'll, we'll leave that down there because we're not really going to get anything from... Did I make nails? I think I did. Yeah. We'll use these to make uh, the storage. Uh, it's weird that it's the same amount of storage. Oh, because I'm in the forge. Dang it. <laughs> Stabo. No, I want storage. Uh, I want these. I really like how they look better anyway. Okay, let's put our ammo away. Maybe we'll, we'll leave our metal and stuff down here and move this box uh, of all the common ingredients. Move that up top. Put all our, our smelting and um, cement things down here. We'll have a little factory or whatever. <laughs> bunch of bunch of forges and whatnot. Cement mixers. <laughs> all right, there's already seven. So. We can put, like, stack them up here in the corner next to our workbench. That could be, like, our common ingredients. Um, and then we'll do this one over here. Maybe we can have a chemistry station. And we'll have our health, uh, health supplies. Um, and maybe we'll have one over in this corner and put like our, our food food supplies and that leaves one maybe we'll um, put one down right here and then we'll put a campfire on top of it campfires are so cheap I don't really think that that, <laughs> that is the word the time it takes to move it. So we'll just leave it. 
All right. Um, I think the ingredients for the mining helmet is like uh, a helmet and a flashlight. I think I got a flashlight somewhere. And I know I got uh, a football helmet. I think the flashlight was over here. And I think it might just be, okay, a uh, mining helmet. We need a, eight electrical parts, five duct tape. Holy cow, okay, I think we can do that. Okay, we need one more. Oh, we don't have enough duct tape. Um, I think you can... take a little bit of cloth with glue. Oh, we have cloth over here. Um, duct tape. Let's make all three of those. There we go. Yeah. And we have to do that in in our workbench. That is going to be awesome. Uh, that will help. I won't need to worry about putting torches about all over the place. Oh, mining helmets. Yeesh. <laughs> this is amazing. I love getting the mining helmet. The mining helmet is so awesome. I can't believe it. I haven't ever seen one like actually drop. The only one I've seen, uh, we're going to lose our little bits of heat and cold resistance from that. So I might want to think about, uh, Putting another point. Is this th three nine? That's twelve two. So this is like cold resist. This is the cold resist, and we put like heat resist stuff here. And this was cold. And that was cold. That was sort of both. And this is like cold. There, that sort of makes sense. No gloves. That's okay. So this is sort of like both cold and heat resist. This is more cold resist. But honestly, the 4-4 is better than the 3-2. And that's 70 bucks? We're going to sell those. Screw that. We'll keep the cowboy boots as... Um, if we need that. I'd rather have the armor. I think I think there might be a mod that um, you can put on your armor that actually gives you resist. I think I saw something like that. Let's look. I can't wait to start getting into the mods. Oh yeah, this insulated liner. Install this into your armor to give you insulation from the cold. Oh, it only does cold or heat. So we would want something that this cooling mesh, is that what it is? Yeah, we would want that because we're next to the desert and we haven't really seen a cold biome at all. So hopefully we can get a cooling mesh recipe. And what's cool is that even um, even though you like get mods, uh, they are reusable. So you can go in and take this mod out. Uh, so that is really cool. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and put our money back. We got our mining helmet, woohoo! 
Uh, it's 14 o'clock. We don't really have time to do much. What I want to do is start getting maybe some of this clay. Take some of this clay and turn it into the soil. The forest ground. How many can we make? Um, let's do a hundred. It's gonna take six minutes. Wow. We might, we probably wind up using all of that anyway. <sighs> hmm. And I don't think I'm gonna have an, enough um, wood to upgrade all of that. So maybe we'll go gather a little bit of wood. Eh, oh, I'm so tempted to go uh, go out and get that level so we can get the cooking for this, this sham chowder. But I don't think it's going to be... Um, why did I get 728 experience? Oh, making the dirt is given experience. Nice. Oh, that is awesome. Making dirt gives you experience. Let's see, 760. Oh, it's only one per. But still, we're making we're making 100, so that's 100 experience. And I'm probably going to need more than that. You know, I'm just going to just clear these trees and not plant over here. Just go across the street. And I can probably clear away a good chunk of the trees across the street <laughs> and still have plenty of wood uh, for days. Because I've pretty much planted almost every single sapling that I've had. It would be nice if they had something like, well, uh, my favorite mod for like Alpha 16 was uh, that War of the Walkers. I really liked that. I liked having the little traps that you could do to get meat and that you could make the little bird's nest to, to harvest feathers and eggs. So, I mean, because once you clear an area, that stuff is gone. Especially around your base, and you have to keep going further and further out. Uh, I, I don't know. Some people like uh, going out and exploring, looking for all that stuff. Uh, but I don't know. I kind of like having the option where if I choose to just stay around my area if I like it. Uh, maybe it's not. Uh, like you get stuck in a desert biome and it's not very friendly to go out exploring very much because of the heat you might want to uh, make an underground area where you can stay cool and I don't know if that's a thing if you're underground do you stay cool in the desert you would think it would it would protect you from the sun having the dirt over your head or whatever Chopping up wood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's still quite a bit of trees over here that I've planted. But across the street is just... There's a crazy amount of wood over there. We've got 58 and 1,200 wood. Let's just chop this tree down and then we'll go up and start upgrading some of those. Maybe... Lay down some dirt. I'll also want to make some um, wooden plates. Oh, we might need more wood. Because uh, I don't like planting on the edge of the ground that you place it on. Because the, the block is kind of slanted halfway. Or that, that one part of the block that's slanted. 
sometimes your crops don't, um, I don't know, it just looks weird. I don't like it. So I usually put a wooden plate over the, the very edge so that I can't plant there. Cover it up where it's not meshing with like um, the wood. I still need to get I need to get those spikes out before uh, I get like a a horde come by in the middle of the night and then I'll be really screwed because there's not anything down there to do a lot of damage to them and I'll have to rely solely on uh, let's just do like a corner and I'll show you how I want to lay this out. We'll do this corner here. Now what I'm thinking is like this is going to be the edge that's covered up. No, 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 no. We're going to go all the way to the edge and then we're going to have um, yeah, like this. The plate is going to be over the one all the way on the edge. And we'll put the dirt down right here. We'll just do this one section. And then I'll probably wind up doing the rest. Uh, you know. Oh, nerds! No! And I don't have my shovel. See what happens when you put things away? I always wind up needing them. At least that's what happens to me. Okay, so we'll want to make some wooden plates. I'm going to have to repair my stuff. Let's get a little bit of iron. Let's go ahead and repair the shovel because it's jacked. There we go. The others will wait a little bit and then get a little bit uh, more damaged. Oh, we gotta go up, 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 up. There we go. Okay, dokie. So, I want to make some ramps. Some wooden ramps? Wooden frame ramps. Let's make like 20 of those. Um, Is there no wood? Let's try a corner. So we have one corner over here. Oh my god, why can't I just have one corner? We want the full corner. That's what we want. Okay, we'll only need four of those, so let's. Why can't, oh, you have to make it at a table saw? Are you kidding me? Okay, okay. Well, um, I think we can we can make a table saw. Isn't that on advanced engineering? Table saw. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that too. Um. There we go. So we're going to have the ramps there, uh, so you won't be able to see the dirt from, you know, the outside. Not that that really adds anything structurally. Um, okay, so... There's like I used to lay on this. It used to be so much faster. Now it 
that's kind of okay. Oh, look, we got some grass. There we go. So then we want some wooden plates. Plates. Oh, let's do like 20 of those, too. It's going to take a lot to get the, the edges. Just cover that up where it doesn't mesh with the wood. And then this part will be the garden. I might, um, how many blocks is that? That's only like four. I might extend it in further, like this way. Uh, so that it's, what is this? One, two, three, four, so it's at least five area like this. So that's at least a five by five area where we can uh, work with. And then we'll have like, uh, so that's five by five. So we'll have to go at least one more. One more out that way to put our plates on. and we might go even though no, that's pretty close to the ladder there I think that is far in so I want to go that way uh, so yeah Um, so this would be where the corner wood frame or wooden plate would go. And then we would have like uh, our ring of dirt here. Like that. And here. And that would be where uh, the wooden plates go on that. We'll just fill the, you know. And then we could have, um, oh man, that's, yeah, it's close on that side because uh, this is the middle. So yeah, that's pretty much as close as I would want it. Uh, we probably would put like ramps here as well. Uh, let's fake it that. Do ramp. Oh, we have 10. So, let's use those. Like that. And that's going to be sort of how it is. And we'll have to get the table saw going to get those corners. Uh, kind of silly but yeah and that should give us a ton of farmland a ton and we might put no we'll, we'll leave that open I guess uh, yeah that's gonna take a ton of dirt so <laughs> yeah let's go make the table saw so we can make the corners Um, I think that's done in the workbench. Table, table saw. What do we need? Oh, we don't have the mechanical parts. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is go out and um, let's put these away. Put all of this stuff away here. We'll get our wrench. Uh, sub our hammer for the wrench and we'll move I'll move all that stuff up there probably 
the extra tools and whatnot. Um, that'll leave these open for, let's go ahead and put these away. So we have plenty room for our other stuff. Where's the good wrench? Yeah, and we, once we get us some more mechanical parts, um, we can probably make a better wrench. But I don't really know how important, oh, um, we need food and drink real quick too go out yeah that's close enough I think to go ahead and eat a full food I don't know that we need the red tea though once we get our farm going we'll pretty much be eating really good food and drinking really good water all the time Although it doesn't matter anymore because it doesn't add wellness to eat the better food, but it does benefit you so where you don't have to eat all the freaking time. You can just eat one large meal, which is good. Okay. Uh, we need the stuff and things to loot now. And I did spend the points, uh, I believe, in, what was it? Salvage operations. So it should go faster and we should get more stuff. Um, because honestly, wrenching Wrenching things now is so painful. It used to be so fun. <laughs> now it's like, oh my god, I gotta go wrench this car. It's gonna take me 10 freaking minutes. Hello, lady! Um, this is my neighborhood. I have claimed it. Oh, look, a trash that I missed. A painkiller! She was going for the stash. That's my stash, lady. We're gonna get this car, both of them. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna need to put more points into that. There's a couple, I should have seen how many mechanical parts we needed. I think we had like 17 and it needed like, what, 20? But we'll go ahead and at least get these, these cars These three here. This one. Oh, there's a couple over there too. Oh, we haven't even looted this one. Steel arrows. I'll take it. I bet there's stuff here. Oh! Yeah, we haven't. Oh, we leveled up wrench in a car. That's what I'm talking about. I like I like getting experience for uh, wrenching the car. Look at that. Every time I hit it, it's one or two experience. Sometimes more. Two. Oh! Oh yeah, that's got two levels. Yeah, in War of the Walkers, they, uh, they made it to where there was only one level of the car uh, so I mean you would get different things but you wouldn't get to go through the different tiers so if your car was the base one you only went through one and if it was a full car you still only went through one which was kind of cool but also kind of not oh that's a gas barrel let's get that we haven't gone through this house. We might need to, I think we did like that garage thing. Because the guys were there. Let's check this. I, I don't know. If we get too close, we might wake up guys in the house. But that's okay. We'll just kill him. Okay, what do I got? I got 30. 
Let's just go ahead and whack this car while we're here. Oh, it's got to be looted too. Nice. You can see a battery in there. Look at that. Max power. It would be nice uh, if we could get an engine or a battery. Uh, we need that for the mini bike. Oh, there's a battery. We got a battery. We got a battery. Getting a little bit of springs too. That's nice. I still don't. Oh, there's another gas barrel right there. I keep stumbling around. You can't pick up the burning barrels anymore. I wonder if I rent it. Will it give me a gas barrel? Or just metal? I bet it's just metal. Because technically it is burning whatever fuel it has in there. It has been for a long, long time. Is there a car in that garage? I don't remember. Is. Let's go ahead and get it too. We got a little bit of time before nightfall. Oh, I don't think there's a car in there. There's not enough room. Yeah, let's leave it. We got what we came for. Oh, is there trash? Oh, garbage. We got the garbage. Enough pain pill. That must be a drug dealer's house or something. There's two pain. Oh no, the pain pill was over here on this one. That's right. We got garbage. Oh, we got two, three, four batteries off of that. I wish one of them had been. Um, an engine, honestly. I mean, one battery is great, two is awesome, three is amazing, but four? <laughs> I'm gonna have like another battery, you know? I think um, maybe that car just had a better chance of having a battery in it. Did this stuff respawn? Because I'm pretty sure. I looted everything that was close to the house. Maybe that's the edge of the area for respawn. Because I'm pretty sure I would have seen that bird's nest and looted it by now. Oh yeah, gonna get a table saw. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's 18 o'clock. We should be able to get this uh, table saw doohickey. Um, what I'm thinking is I'll put... No, let's put this middle one right here as our parts and stuff. Yeah. What else was there? Oh, the plastics, yes. Um, we we'll also want gas. And gas cans. Um, headlights, we don't get as much of. And radiators, we don't get as much of. Uh, hopefully we're gonna get this much oil. <laughs> I know it's wishful thinking but uh, and we also want to put like you get cloth and leather from it too so I like to put it in there with it so I can dump it oh springs a uh, spring spring a new step and I think we'll put like uh, batteries and engines up here that way uh, that room won't be, that chest won't be, oh, I'm getting like a little bug for, I have to hit E twice to open sometimes, which is a little weird. All right, let's put our wrench back up. 
shovel and handy back out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just empty that. This stuff will be going up as well. Ammo. I don't know. Should I have an ammo station up? Or should I leave that down here? Would that be more of... Yeah. That might be something. Oh, we can get our recipes now. Let's get those. Uh, the Master Chef. Even though we can't do it, I was still, I uh, hopefully in the in over the course of the night, I can get that farm up and running. Uh, we do have a hoe that we looted. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so we'll we'll want to get some more seeds, definitely. I'll do that over the night probably to make some more seeds, get some of that up there going. Oh, and we put all our stuff and things that we were using. I don't really, uh, those pine cones don't go there. That's an extra one. You can go over there. Oh yes, table saw. Duh. Uh, let's look at, can we see what goes into it? Yes. Okay, so we need 25 forged iron. We need to get that down here. I hear a burning man up there. Uh, Mechanical and electrical parts. I don't think we have enough electrical parts up there, so. Ooh, we're really short on those. I, I'm pretty, I know we have the mechanical parts up there. And four springs. Yeah. We're gonna have to go take care of that guy because um, he's making me nervous. Yeah, he's, oh man, I can't believe how, how far away they are you can hear them from. That's so amazing. Let's just go down and beat the crap out of him. Just be quiet already. Stop your burning. All right, the crickets have come out. It's 19 o'clock. We got about another game hour. Uh, hopefully, let's get this table saw made so we can make the corners. We need the mechanical parts. And, ooh, was it eight? Oh no, it was 10. Okay. Table saw. Two minutes. Holy shnikes. Okay. Oh, two minutes. Okay. What kind of wood do we have? 1300. Wow. But I bet it's not going to be enough. So let's just go out while we're waiting for that table saw and chop down a few more trees. Yeah, jumping around is definitely helping my stamina. <laughs> oh, I hear another zombie. I don't see him anywhere. He must be over the hill. Literally not... Uh, you know, like old. But he could be old. He might be. He sounded kind of, uh, oh, 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 like that. And now he's like, uh, Zombert, come out, come out, wherever you are. Huh. There he is. He's 
the crawler. You were gonna sneak up on me and bite my ankle, weren't you? I know you were, you little turd head. All right, get a little bit more wood while we still can. Um, I guess I could do this after, but I gotta wait two minutes for the table saw. And this way we have uh, wood to make our wood frames and stuff with. Although, you know, we got like 1300 wood, that should be enough. Maybe to last me through the night. So, hopefully I can get around the, the whole edge with the resources that I have. That would be nice. Um, let's try to make it, get the saw. Um, I think it's just a little one block thing. So we'll put it like right there. Are you done? Yes. Yeah, it's just a little bitty guy. All right, so um, let's make a corner. We need four inside and four outside. I didn't like this block. I want to unfavorite it. <laughs> um, corner. I see, I don't see why it's showing flagstone in here. Would it be wood or wooden? Woof. <laughs> wood. <laughs> uh, Wood. Oh, we needed this to make the fence too. So I can put the fence up on the outside so that the zombies have to go through, you know, certain areas to get through. We want. Okay, I think it's just going to be wood. So let's do wood corner. No. So then it would be wooden. No. What the. Wood frame, full corner. We need the full corner and then I think it's called the inside corner. Yeah, there, there it was. There we go. That's what we needed. Also, let's go ahead and see what kind of fence I think I just want this plain wooden fence and it'll stack up it'll be super easy and we'll get some of those going that's 150 wood yeah let's make like uh, 200 of those uh, so that'll be something I can we can work on and that'll make it a little bit easier because I don't think the zombies are going to run straight at us if we put that up. They'll have to come through the choke points and that, that'll be a lot easier to defend. We can like fill that area. Uh, oh, yeah, we could fill the area in front of those gaps with traps. Haha. <laughs> Sucker zombies. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here. I uh, will be working on the farm area throughout the night and hopefully I will be able to get that finished. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, comment! <laughs> Tell me what you think. Uh, if you have any ideas or how how is your base going? Are you doing on your experimental? Are you playing? Hope you are. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for episode 10. Hopefully we'll get our farm going. Bye-bye.